p.m. path chat covering stocks. This is Bob Iacchino from Path Trading Partners, along with Mike Arnold, as always. Not a ton of news we're going to be able to hang our hats on the next few days in terms of the equity markets. We have essentially the Fed's opinion has been given to us by several Fed speakers last week, including the Fed Chair Janet Yellen, who on Friday essentially joined the chorus of Fed speakers saying that March is definitely on the table. The Fed Watch Tool from the CME Group's website has the current probability for a March rate hike at 86.4%, up from 79.7%. So the probability continues to creep up. After that absolutely historic rise in probability, we had the probability of a March rate hike less than two weeks ago at 17.7%, and now we're nearing the 90% threshold. Fed is in a quiet period, so we'll basically be waiting for Friday's non-farm payroll to either support this rate hike, or if we have weak wages and a weak number, possibly create an argument against it. Mike is going to take a look at Netflix for you. He's going to update you on CSX, and then he's going to give you a quick teaching moment on Snap. Uh, Snap, the new IPO came out. A ridiculous valuation on that stock, but there's a pretty good teaching moment on the chart that Mike wants to show you. So let me turn it over to Mike. Mike, it is all yours. Okay, thank you very much, Bob. Just a quick update. Netflix, head and shoulders patterns, gone to kiss the neckline goodbye. If you get a close above the 142.78 level, your this trade is then invalid and will close out. That's the simple stop. We have some other co more complex stops, but they're too much to go through just on a quick YouTube video. So this gave a good entry on a, a move back with a, a pretty tight stop considering the targets for this one. CSX continued to hit both, finally hit the second target higher. So this one is done with my targets. If it comes back on the radar for another potential up move, I will bring it up with everyone again. Until then, it's coming off my charts. By the way, some people wanted to know what gap fills look like. This is Snapchat. We also talked about this on our podcast. Here's the gap, ran up, then here was the fill today. See how it, here was the prior close, here's the open. So for it to be a full fill, it would have to go from this prior close to the open with new recent price action. So you can see here, it came down and eventually filled the whole gap. Just wanted to touch on that for anybody who's wondering when we talk about a gap fill, what it looks like and what it is on a shorter term intraday chart. That's all I have for you. Back to you, Bob. Thank you, Mikey. Please like these videos and subscribe to them if you find them useful. And check out our podcast. There's a new Money Path podcast out. You can find it by typing in the Money Path podcast into your iTunes search bar or Google Play. Or you can find it at our website, pathtradingpartners.com. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.